The Corex process was developed in Germany. It was earlier known as the KR cocoa reduction process. The first commercial Corex plant was located in Pretoria, South Africa, and was owned by Ice Core with an annual capacity of 315,000 tons of pig iron when it started operation in 1989. Currently, there are four Corex plants in operation, producing more than 6 million tons of pig iron. These plants are POSCO Pohan Works, located in the Republic of Korea, with an annual capacity of 800,000 tons, started its operation in 1995. Saudana Steel, located in the Republic of South Africa, with an annual capacity of 650,000 tons, started its operation in 1999. Jindal Vijayanagar Steel, Module 1, located in India, with an annual capacity of 800,000 tons, started its operation in 1999. Jindal Vijayanagar Steel, Module 2, located in India with a capacity of 128 tons of pig iron per hour, started its operation in 2001. Throughout the process, iron oxide feed stock are first reduced in a shaft reduction furnace and then smelted in a motor gasifier reactor. The reducing agent required for reduction reactions in the shaft furnace and smelting reactions in the motor gasifier are produced in the motor gasifier reactor. A simplified schematic flow sheet of the process is shown in figure. The Corex process feed stocks. The Corex utilizes following materials as iron oxide sources. 100% iron ore pellets or lump ore, Saudana steel. Iron ore pellets and lump ore mixture, Jindal steel Posca Pohant works. Greater than 75% of iron ore pellets and or a lump ore mixture, less than 25% fine ore. Jindal steel and Posca Pohant works. Flux materials such as limestone, dolomite and silica are added to the system to adjust the basicity of the slag and to ease the removal of impurities from the slag. They are charged either alone with coal or alone with the iron oxide feed stocks. The amounts of flux material to be added to the system is dictated by the coal ash analysis in the amount of silica, alumina and sulfur that is present in iron oxide feed stocks. It should be noted that high amounts of flux additions result in large slug volumes, which reduce the productivity of the process. The coal to be utilized in the process is determined mainly according to its gasification temperature. Other coal properties such as ash content, coal softening behavior, swelling index and hard growth grainability index have little or no influence. The preferred coal composition for the Corex process has volatile matter from 25 to 35%, fixed carbon from 55 to 65%, moisture less than 5%, ash from 5 to 12%, and sulfur less than half of percent. The Corex Reduction Shaft Furnace The primary reduction of the iron oxide heat stocks takes place in the reduction shaft furnace. The residence time in the reduction shaft furnace is usually from 7 to 9 hours. The reducing gas for these reactions is generated by the partial combustion of coal with oxygen in the motor gasifier. The reducing gas generated by the motor gasifier is first cooled down to 800 or 900 degrees of Celsius and it cleaned prior to its utilization in the shaft furnace. This gas usually contains 85% of carbon monoxide. The Corex reduction shaft furnace 
eliminates the softening and cohesive zone of the traditional blast furnace. Thus, it resembles the shaft furnace utilized in Midrex and Hill natural gas based direct reduction processes. By eliminating the softening and cohesive zones, the coke requirement for man maintaining the gas flow and at these zones is eliminated. Unlike the shaft furnaces utilized in natural gas based direct reduction processes, the sticking of the iron oxide bead stock to the furnace's walls is not a problem in the Oryx reduction shaft furnace, because the, redu the reducing gas usually contains coal dust, which serves as a lubricant. The product of the shaft furnace, direct reduced iron, usually reaches up to 93-95% of metallization and contains from 2 to 5 weight percent of carbon. The byproduct export gases can either be recycled into the system or utilized in power generation. Synthetic gas generation, direct reduced iron production and heating within iron and steel works. The Corex Melter Gasifier Reactor Simplified schematic diagram of the Corex Melter Gasifier Reactor and its operational zones are shown in figure. It can be seen from this figure that the coal lumps are first dried and devolatilized by the gases produced by the DRI smelting. Then, gasification and partial combustion of the coal takes place by the oxygen blown into the system, which supplies the energy needed for final reduction and smelting of the direct reduced iron at the lower part of the reactor. Thus, the smelting of the direct reduced iron takes place at the lower part of the reactor at temperatures of about 1500 to 1800 degrees of Celsius. The gasification and partial combustion of the coal takes place at the upper part of the reactor at temperatures of about 1000 to 1200 degrees of Celsius. The melter gasifier operates at 5 atmospheres pressure. The hot metal and slag tapped from this melter gasifier reactor are very similar to blast furnace products. The hot metal contains from 4 to 4.5% of carbon, 0.02 to 0.09% of sulfur, and 0.03 to 0.8% of silicon.